Hi, I'm Christina Picchi and I'm the director of Unfolded. Hey, I am Solus, cinematographer of Unfolded. I'm from Lithuania. Yeah, and I'm from Italy. Unfolded is a day in the life of a woman and so we're following her throughout the day and throughout the process of acknowledgement of the end of her long-term relationship. Be before going to Turin, because we shot the whole film there, uh, I was imagining that it's gonna be moody, gloomy, you know, no sun is shining because we were shooting in, in winter, like December, I think, or January. And when I arrived there, I spent three weeks in prep and all days were sunny, you know, so I was really like, what, should, what I'm gonna do because I need, you know, to get this all cloud, cloudy weather and everything. So I was looking some locations that I could, you know, go away with this. And then when we had some open spaces, actually the sun disappeared and we got, whenever we needed, we got cloudy days. So it was perfect, but uh, yeah, I was really scared that, you know, what I'm gonna do that. Yeah, we got some snow as well on the very last moment, so we were lucky because <laughs> we were looking for this gloomy weather that could match this suspended atmosphere, uh, you know, that was almost like a meditative mood uh, that we wanted to be matched by the landscape. Um, as for me, I guess uh, the difficulties that I had to face, more than difficulties, they're, I would call them new challenges because I I come from documentary and for video art and from video art and I this was my first uh, narrative uh, fiction short so I guess that it was more of a process of trying to bring the same uh, style and vision into a new format and also to deal with like a bigger crew and uh, actors so try to kind of like renegotiate that kind of process into a different uh, environment. Also, I was, you know, I'm, I'm used to, I was used to go and shoot on my own or like with a very, very limited crew. And we were not a huge crew, but still having people around and having to kind of like deal not simply with the process, but also with the internal balances and with the relationships. But it was beautiful. It was really, really um, an exciting experiences. And I ended up like discovering a lot of beautiful souls and wonderful talents. Yeah, I, I love this festival. I'm so <laughs> glad I'm here. Actually, I'm meeting so many talented people. I'm, I'm here for the whole festival and, you know, network. I think this is the biggest part of this festival. Everybody's from everywhere in, in this festival. I mean, everybody's with short films. They are great. Some programs I went uh, were like, all films were strong. No, some I went there were, okay, a couple super strong. The other were not so strong maybe, but it's really surprised me the quality of films. But the most important, the talents I, I'm meeting here. I'm having fun so much and yeah, it's, it's great. I, 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 for me, it was just coming from Los Angeles because now I'm living there. So I really expected that my director will make from Italy and will come. I'm so happy to have her here. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I'm very happy I came. I'm super happy. I was debating with myself whether to take this trip or not until the very end and then six days earlier I just booked my ticket I was like I think I, I need to be there <laughs> and it was um, a very good decision because I met I mean there were already people that I knew he was here so it was nice to celebrate this moment as well together and to and I think this is actually the right place to you know not simply to screen your film but also really to celebrate the art of filmmaking and to meet new people and to meet new talents and to exchange experiences and the vibe is so relaxed but at the same time so full of energy that it's it's really 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 amazing to be here whoever is starting filmmaking I would have two advices one is a technical one and one is a um, let's say existential one <laughs> and the, the technical one is like I would maybe because I'm coming from documentary but I would strongly suggest to try to learn a little bit of everything so I've been shooting some of my works I've always edited my work and I I've learned sometimes I took I recorded interviews I'm really bad at that but like you know when so to try to learn to be as self-reliant as you can in order to be able to um, bring the projects forward ev even when you know, financial situations or, you know, the, just the general situation is not so mm, in favor of your own projects and dreams. 
and also to be able to communicate better with the people you're working with uh, so that when you know a little bit of the craft then you're able to ask for what you need in a much clearer way and also and this is probably I mean I don't know if it applies just for me but like um, it's such an unstable career it's such an unstable world and the ups and downs are so frequent and so fast that it's so hard to get discouraged it's so easy to get discouraged and it's so easy to uh, it's hard to get by at times and and I think to just learn to go with the flow and not to get too excited uh, when things are going well and thinking that you nailed it down and not to get too discouraged when you know when you get slapped in the face and you just like you know you have negative news coming so to try to kind of get into a zen attitude about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>